What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Topps Museum Collection Baseball just sold out. This is a six-box half-case break. Picture team's number four, so this is the second half of the case. And uh, we had to do a little random number block for 16 teams in the uh, MLB right there. But uh, we got those all sold out. And there's the customers there that bought in straight up. And everybody else as well. Here's the 16 teams and the names uh, associated with that. And the teams right there. And then I think Joe put a four on all these. Yeah, Russo almost had that as an interception as well. And Byron Buxton to 125 for the Minnesota Twins. Luke Voigt, nice patch right there. That's a three color patch for the Yankees. Yankee that's going to Jonathan. And so again, uh, any non-numbered cards like this Wander Frank will be randomized to the group and most likely all the base will be in one lot as well. So just an FYI. A little canvas collection. With a Whit Merrifield, the Kansas City Royals. That is 6 out of 25. So Kansas City Royals is part of the random number block. 6 that is going to Jeremy Port. Shohei Otani, you got two hits in this pack. I was not expecting that. Showtime, 12 out of 50. That's going to hand with the Angels. A little extra bonus hit here. And then this one here is for Tom Glavin and the Mets, which is part of the random number block. And uh, that is number 23 out of 75. Three is going to Joe Pizzo. There you go, Pizzle, on the board. Let's go to the next box.
Alright, dude, you're cool. Wow, how about a little Julio? Julio Rodriguez. That is 52 out of 150. That's going straight up to Seattle, which is Han. We got another Wander Franco base. I think a lot of people feel the same way, Rebel. I think the Rams included. Mark Mulder for the Oakland A's. That is uh, 40 out of 299. Zero going to Oliver. Eli Ramos. Canvas collection there, Reggie Jackson, and then Lance McCullers. Astros, that is going to RMB three, which is Pizzo. Yeah, Logan, but I mean, that doesn't mean it equivalates to them playing this horrible. And a little Xander Bogarts for Boston. Going to Jonathan. 14 to 25. That's right, John. It is only one game. That's, I mean, that's the beauty of it, right? Still got 16 more games to go. You'd rather get blown out like this in week one than later in the season when you should be having it all together, you know? Another box with two extra hits, right? Am I tripping? Eloy Jimenez, and then that is Chris and Yelich. All right, that is uh, Milwaukee, 16-team R&B, 54. Uh, Sean Haley. But it does suck for the Rams fans today. <laughs> I think they were expecting the Rams to play much better, especially with the banner going up and, you know, all that good stuff. All right, White Sox is Joe. There you go, man, on the board. Like, my, my best friend's there. And he's a huge Rams fan, right? He's just huge. And I'm sure he had fun before the game started. You know, all those celebrations, all the celebs there and everything. But I guarantee you he's not doing good right now. <laughs> he's, he's probably taking it hard because he's a pretty emotional guy. Damn, Diego already trying to get that best friend status. <laughs> now, my friend Chewy, that I have known him since uh, what seventh grade, I think. And he transferred to our middle school, but uh. He knows how much I love football, and it was just so funny. When I got married uh, back in 2018, you know, he was my best man. His gift was so awesome, but I just felt bad because it wasn't really a gift for, like, my wife. It was more a gift for me. He, uh, the Eagles obviously had won the Super Bowl that season before. Julio. What a Chris Taylor. So what he ended up getting of me as a wedding gift is he got me uh, an Eagles, like, replica uh, championship ring. But, like, this wasn't, like, you know, like those, like, cheaper replicas. This was, like, like a $1,500 replica. Like, the one, like, under the actual official one. So, I was just so shocked. I was like, dude, you didn't have to get me this. But, like, you know how much I love the Eagles. It was just so funny because I'm just like, I don't know how I'm going to share this with my wife, but thank you. <laughs> so, 
I was like, every time I go to Eagle Games, I have to wear that around. Now I feel like I gotta get him a, a, a Rams ring like he got me now, though. Tatis. <coughs> and a MJ Melendez. 39 out of 50. I know, I should have done that, right, Diego? I mean, I, I love my ring here, you know, but I, I should have had that, right, when he, gave my, when he gave me the rings and shit, just gave me that one instead. I didn't know he had got me that, though. He gave it to me after my wedding, like the next morning. All right, then that is uh, Kansas City 39, spot 9 going to Pizzo. And we got a quad relic, Hunjin Ryu, Berrios, Teoscar Hernandez, and Boba Shet to 75. That is going to uh, Blue Jays. Three out of 75. Pizzo, man. Three and nine are just hitting right now. Three and nine are just hitting. Suzuki base. With a Andrew Jones to 299. Atlanta going to Charles. And then Rex got the Cubs. I don't know if you've gotten a base of him yet, Rex, but there you go. Alright, halfway through, still no metal card. And actually, you know what? I think it's in here. I think this box significantly feels heavier. I got to see. I got to see yesterday. I thought I had a frame in one of my boxes, but there wasn't in there. This one felt a little heavier than normal. That one might have it actually. Oh, I'm sure they are, Rex. There actually is a lot of rookies that they featured in this. Like, even C.J. Abrams and stuff, they featured them all in this stuff for the first time. Well, if you get a couple of them, Rex, you can always sell one. Well, that's the one thing, Diego, yeah. I, sometimes I feel like I do a good job of, of knowing which boxes are heavier, but... I swear, with Museum this year, I've, I've gotten duped a couple times. I, I feel like I think they're heavier, but then they're actually not. Like, they did a good job. Bregman Altuve for the Astros. And that is uh, 3 out of 35. Another one for Pizzo. Man. Oh yeah, for sure. Get a numbered one. You're great. What is this? Why is this one sticking out like that? Unless they're just bent. Oh, look at that patch. That patch is coming out of the damn card. Yachty. That is 7 out of 15. For the St. Louis Cardinals, part of the 16 team RNB. The patch is literally coming out of the car. And uh, that is seven. Going to Brian Crouch. Nice Yachty right there. There's Bobby Witt right there. Another Bobby Witt. Uh, dude, you know how many Yachty's I've pulled in that damn diamond icons? Karshaw, Julio, May, and Bueller. All for the Dodgers there. 
David. See, I thought this one was heavier than the other boxes, and there wasn't even a frame in here. Frank Robinson at 150. That is Baltimore Orioles. Part of the 16 team RMB. And that is 13. Another one for Pizzo. Man, spot three is hitting today. And we got a Jacob DeGrom, 51 out of 99. Uh, spot one with that hit, Jake. Uh, to my knowledge, people said no. There was a booklet in the last one, but no frame, they said. Yeah, Randall Arg knew that this half was going to have a ton of threes, and they just gave it to Pizzo. You know, Randall Arg knows. But I mean, some people have said that they've seen cases with no jumbo patch, no no frames. Which I hope that's not the case. No, the cases are supposed to be a jumbo patch and a frame. Books are just extra. But some cases people have said they haven't seen. On Instagram they were telling me that there was some times where there was no case hits in some of this stuff. Another Julio base. <coughs> and out of 10, Joe Maurer. Nice one there for the Minnesota Twins. Jared with that one. And we got a Ryan Mountcastle triple relic in auto. That is 190 out of 399. Uh, Orioles zero is Oliver. Torkelson, little Lou Bob, and Mike Yastrzemski. 39 out of 99. Spot 9 is Pizzo. Well, this is break 4, Joe, so I'm pretty sure you, it's in 3. Unless you meant 2 or 3. Yeah, 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 it's probably a two or three, I don't know. I just know in the last one there was a sketch and that booklet, if I'm correct. A little chipper. 31 out of 99. Braves going to Charles. And Detroit, Matt Manning to 299. Kev. Petros. Uh, 
Alright, the frame is right here. I can feel it. That's the frame. Grown 144 out of 150. Spot four. Sean. Another jerk of the Grown. That is uh, 18 of 50. Spot eight. Brian Crouch. Just straps you. Look at those patches in there. Three color patches on two out of the three. One of five. Spot one's going to Jake. Aaron Judge, 73 out of 99. Jonathan with the Yankees. All right, here you go, guys. Last hit of the break. We did get the frame in here. Looks like it's a bronze frame. Here we go. Good luck. That is numbered 7 of 10. And it's Cal Ripken Jr. 7 of 10. Enshrined in 2007. Baltimore, 7. Right, 16 Team RB, yes. Brian Crouch. Alright. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So these are all the hits here for the RMB. Nice stuff in there as well. And then overall here, for these hits right here, that one's out of five. Got out of ten Mauer. A couple Bobby Witts. A couple of Julios too, actually. So there was, and a Shohei. I forgot about the Shohei Otani, actually. Oh, right, well, there you go, guys. <clears throat> so that was the second half of the case. Now, remember, there was a lot of non-numbered cards for the Rays. It was like 2 or Franco's as well. Um, so we'll randomize all those in one lot. Number one gets it for the RMB teams. And that's only for those teams, of course. Everybody else still gets whatever they purchased. Um, so let's get the RMB names. And... Roll it. Five and a five, ten times. Number one gets all the unnumbered base for the RMB teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Barry Roberts, it looks like. There you go, Barry. Congratulations, buddy. You just won all the non-numbered base cards from the RMB teams. So 
So appreciate it, guys. Next one that's in the store, number five, is actually from a fresh case. Five and six down to 19 and 19. Appreciate it, guys.